We Brits like a good estate car, and this is Mazda's, the Mazda 6 Tourer, a car styled with the company's Kodo design ethos and bristling with a series of efficiency technologies under the Skyactiv banner. More a collection of principles rather than a focus on any one particular technology, Skyactiv starts with the creation of a strong yet lightweight body. It's quite a handsome one in our eyes, with nicely aggressive, almost feline headlights, and for the Tourer, a high window line that tapers towards the rear. That high waistline creates a sensation of security from inside, and there's a wide range of adjustment for both seats and steering wheel that makes settling yourself in easy. Rear seat passengers are well looked after too. The controls for the ventilation system are well placed and operate with a satisfying quality, while the instruments are pleasingly illuminated and elegant in design. Many of the master's functions are relegated to the colour touchscreen, and this is presided over by an iDrive style twisty Tony controller mounted just behind the gear lever. We find these systems a little clunky to use, particularly on the move, but at least with the master system you can revert to jabbing at the screen, or if you're feeling brave, venture into the realms of the voice command system. To be fair, Mazda's part of the system works well, the TomTom SatNav is less successful though. Dictating addresses is painful, and there are many strange mispronunciations. Ask for directions to a petrol station and you'll hear Navigate to the nearest petrol station, is that correct? Still, if you are planning on collecting a load of petals, you find the cargo space to be very practical, with cupboard holes in the sides, an underfloor compartment where you can store the retractable cover, and clever hooks for shopping bags that also double up as supports for the load floor so you don't need three hands. With the rear seats in place there's 506 litres of cargo space, rising to 1,648 litres with the seats folded, a process made easy by a pair of levers in the boot walls. Four engines are available, two petrol and two diesel, with our test car powered by the excellent twin-turbo 2.2 litre diesel. It produces 175 PS and 420 newton metres of torque, and can sprint from 0 to 60 in 8 seconds dead. It's not just punchy though, but incredibly refined too. Efficiency is also a strong point, with even our top spec sport model with 19 inch wheels recording 61.4 mpg on the combined cycle with CO2 emissions of just 121 grams per kilometre. We found it easy to maintain an average around the 45 mpg mark, with long journeys likely to achieve a figure usefully into the 50s. Some of this efficiency stems from Mazda's i-stop system, which stops the engine when waiting at traffic lights, but can restart again within 0.4 of a second, as well as the i-e-loop system, which recovers energy during braking and uses it to power the car's electrical systems. This six-speed manual gearbox has been given a satisfyingly stubby gear lever and a beautifully balanced short throw, making it a pleasure to use. The steering too has a sporty theme to it, requiring just 2.57 turns lock to lock, making it faster even than that in an MX-5. It's effortlessly manoeuvrable too, with an exceptionally tight turning circle. Out on the open road, surface imperfections are quietly filtered out, and even larger bumps and potholes are quickly suppressed without imposing on the calm of the cabin although we will say that the 19-inch wheels of the Sport model do produce a touch more tyre roar than we'd like. The handling continues the sporty theme, the Tourer's lightweight allowing it to respond with finesse to changes of direction. In short, it's easy to have fun, something that can't be said of all estate cars, and it's particularly surprising how happy the 2.2 diesel is to be revved to its red line, and how refined it remains once there. The Mazda 6 Tourer then is efficient, well-engineered, comfortable and refined. For most estate cars, that ought to be enough. But Mazda's engineers have gone further. It's also engaging to drive and incredibly easy to live with. This isn't just a good estate car, it's a great one.